Hello folks, Andrews here, welcome to this new video. Today I'm going to show you how to export your scenes from Blender to Godot. Now there are different ways to do this. You can use the Collada exporter, but there's an extra tool that allows you to do this. This add-on is Godot Blender exporter. Now you can get it from the GitHub and you can find the download link down below. Now the fact here is that we're using Blender 2.8 and if you're new to GitHub like I was, you probably don't know that there are different branches, different downloads that you can make. So, make sure to click on the branch and choose Blender 2.8. Now you can proceed downloading the files like a zip. After downloading, open the zip file and inside find the folder IO Scene Godot. This folder needs to be copied inside the Blender folder add-ons. So, open the folder of Blender. Since I download the portable version, the ready-to-use one of Blender, I have it in a secondary hard drive, but you should have it in C. Now, inside of Blender, click on 2.8, open scripts folder, and here click on add-ons. Inside this folder we're going to copy Iocene Goddard. Now last but not least, we need to go inside the Blender preferences. So click on edit preferences and here choose add-ons. On the search form, write down Godot and the Godot extension will pop up. Now just select it and save preferences and everything is ready. Go to File, Export and choose Godot Scene. Now the fact is that when you're exporting, you need to export inside a Godot project folder, otherwise it won't work. Now you have different properties here and you can choose what to export and how to export it. You can choose cameras, selected files only, visible files only, and so on. Now, after exporting the file, the file is already loaded inside Godot. So, if you go inside Godot, you can drag and drop your model, your scene. Like you can see, there's a little issue here with bones. Exporting the armor, somehow the last bone doesn't appear. So to solve this issue, you need to add an extra bone. Now, if I go to Blender and add an extra bone and export the scene, you'll see that the new mesh has two bones. Actually, in the inspector there are three bones, but only two of them shows in the scene. Okay guys, hopefully this helps you. I had a lot of issues to set up this thing, so I thought this might be a good tutorial for you. So guys, thank Thank you for watching, leave a like, subscribe, leave some comments, share this with your friends and most important, keep making games!